So we've shown in this study, which is the first study in cancer, by focusing on mesothelium, that arginine deprivation is a new treatment for cancer. Its, its main role is really in combination with chemotherapy, and this is really following on the paradigm of the first amino acid that this was shown to work, which was for asparagine, using the drug, drug asparaginase, which is now standard of care in childhood leukemia, and we're now on the second amino acid 60 years later. I think there'll be more studies in mesothelium. Clearly, this study shows that there is a, a new option for patients with non-epithelial mesothelium, which is an aggressive mesothelium, and any additional treatment options are, are always um, much needed. The main treatment has transitioned in the last two, three years to doublet immunotherapy with ipilimumab nivolumab. Nevertheless, this is a new chemotherapy standard for these patients. Our current focus moving on into other thoracic cancers is to now explore uh, a chemoimmunotherapy backbone in combination with PEGAR gymnase, and that's in the field of small cell lung cancer. So we're, we're just setting up a trial or a phase one trial of PEGAR gymnase with the tezolizumab, carboplatin, and topside, and we hope to open that uh, later on this year. If that phase one study is successful and the treatment is tolerable, we would envisage opening that into a phase two, three design globally, much in the same way we've done with atomic meso.